and welcome to the Real Hell's Kitchen from our state-of-the-art, top-of-the-range kitchens here at Owl's Hair Productions. I wasn't in charge of the project. Now, today we're going to make some basic blood. For this you'll need some hot water, some icing sugar, some corn flour, golden syrup, cocoa powder, red, green and yellow food dye, and a tablespoon. Now it's important to remember good hygiene when working in the kitchen, so let's wash our hands. And dry them on a clean tea towel. It's been happening all week. That's my cold there. And let's continue. To begin with, you'll want five tablespoons of corn flour. Sip that to remove any lumps. Then add a third of a cup of warm water. And stir. Then add one tablespoon of cocoa powder. again. Then add two thirds of a cup of golden syrup. Add four teaspoons of red food dye. Guess what? Stir again. You may find this a little runny. If you want to thicken it, you can either add more corn flour or add icing sugar to make it taste yummy. And just sit that in. And stir. To darken it, just add a couple of drops of green. Also, if you want to lighten it, just add a couple of drops of yellow. Also, when in the kitchen, it's advised to wear your hair back. Or make it in the food. This is what it should look like. However, if you want your blood congealed, leave it in the fridge overnight. Or for darker blood, use treacle instead of golden syrup. Mmm, yummy. Now, here's our cheapskate director to show you a fantastic blood effect. Looks like wine. Smells like wine. Doesn't taste like wine. <laughs> Poison, but wine. 